Welcome back to Fox in the Morning, everyone. Recently, we told you about an outbreak of fungal infections in the eye, and there seemed to be some connection between the eye infection and a certain kind of lens cleaner. So today, we're getting the real scoop from Dr. Charles Flowers, who's here from Flowers and Suter Vision Institute. Welcome to Fox in the Morning. Welcome. Okay, so we did the story about these fungal infections, and we were told that it most or all of the people that had these fungal infections in the eye were using Renew, the Renew brand contact lens solution from Bausch & Loam. Mm -hmm. So what is the update on that? Well, the update is, so far there's been about 109 cases been reported. Mm -hmm. Of those cases, 30 have been investigated fully. And what they did, of those 30 cases that have been fully investigated, 28 of those patients were wearing contact lenses. And of those 28 who were having, who wore contact lenses, 26 or 93 percent were using Renew related products. Okay. Uh, now, Bosch Lum has released a, a press release where they've removed Renew Moisture Lock off the market, although all the scientific evidence that we have does not show a definitive link. Although, if you go back and look at the patients that have been investigated, 93 percent were using some type of Renew product. But not all of them. Not all of them. Correct. Oh, okay. So at this point, Bausch and Loam is just being safe in Absolutely, it, yes. And yes. just removing it from it. But, but as you said, no scientific link at this point. Correct. Okay, so if people have a couple of bottles left over in their medicine cabinet, should they continue using them? Or? No, they probably should dispose of them right just now. Just in case? Just in case. Because it's still being investigated. Yeah, the CDC is still investigating that. Again, remember I said there was 109 cases. Right. Only 30 of those have been investigated fully. Okay, so at this point, just to play it safe, everyone should dispose of them if they have any left in, in their medicine cabinet. Is there something that has been discovered or that people know of any, any kind of ingredient in that Renew solution that uh, might cause something like this? Not as yet. Not, not of yet. Okay. According to Bosch Lum, they've tested, they've gone back and looked at their testing facilities, they've tested solutions, and nothing's turned up so far. Okay. Now, what I've read about fungal infections is that they're very difficult to, to treat. That's correct. Why is that? Uh, because we don't really have a lot of uh, commercially available antifungals. Uh, we only actually have one commercially available, available antifungal, and it's really uh, fungal static, which means it stops it from growing, but it doesn't completely kill it. Okay, and how do people normally get these types of infections? Normally it's from trauma. It's extremely rare to get fungal infections, okay. so, sh particularly with contact lens wear. Most of the time uh, we see fungal infections in association with trauma uh, or organic matter. If you got stuck in your eye with a tree branch or something like that, you typically don't see it in association with contact lens wear. So you should be very, very careful then just to and make sure, as we saw some of those tips up there, wash your hands, replace your your contact lenses. Don't try to keep them and extend them for longer periods of time, that sort of thing. Take them out every night, I would suppose. For right now, but I think the most important thing that I've found over the years is that many people do not change their cases. I've run into a lot of patients who will have the same case for a couple years. Really, you should be changing your case every three to six months. Real? Okay, because mm -hmm. obviously bacteria can gather in there as well. Absolutely. Even though you clean them, there's still some residue where bacteria and fungus can grow. Okay. Yeah. Well, very important information and of course hopefully it uh, lets you rest at night knowing that the, this product has been removed off the shelf until further investigation is concluded. Dr. Charles Flowers, Flowers and Suter Vision Institute, thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. Thank you. And of course go to Fox